My name is Frandis Daniel, and I am the founder and CEO of Harlem's Fashion Row. HFR is the premier agency creating a bridge between brands and designers of color in fashion. And we do that through brand strategy, through collaborations, and also experiential events. So long before inclusivity became a widely accepted goal across the fashion industry, Harlem's Fashion Row has been championing and uplifting designers of color. We cultivate innovative events, which attract a multitude of diverse influencers in fashion, media, and entertainment. Our objective is to provide real business opportunities to multicultural designers in fashion to showcase their skills and abilities in an industry that is not always accessible to this group. I would like to welcome you to the 2021 HBCU Fashion Week Summit. Whether you are a current HBCU student or alumni, an inspiring designer or a seasoned fashion professional, with us now on YouTube or catching the replay, we are so excited that you chose to join us for this incredible virtual experience. My hope is that you will walk away from today's summit with just some tangible tools to support you in your fashion career and also the confidence to powerfully walk in your purpose and ultimately achieve your dreams. It goes without saying that this virtual summit could not happen without the support of our partners who believe in what Harlem's Fashion Row stand for, especially in supporting the HBCU community. Partners such as Toyota and the Dream Project. With me today is Paige Barton, Manager of Multicultural Business Strategy at Toyota Motor North America and proud HBCU alumni by the way of Wiley College. Welcome, Paige. Thank you so much, Brandis. We're so happy to be here. And on behalf of all of Toyota, we are happy to be here with the work that you do and supporting you through Harlem's Fashion Row. Thank you so much, Paige. Okay, now Paige, you've got to tell us, why as an organization does Toyota like want to partner with Harlem's Fashion Row and the HBCU, our first HBCU Fashion Week Summit? Thank you so much for asking, Brandis. For us at Toyota, the choice to partner with you was an easy one. You know, Toyota has a long history supporting historically Black colleges and universities. And as an HBCU graduate, I know firsthand the massive amount of talent and creativity that can be found on the HBCU campus. I also know the struggles uh, that they have financially that could threaten the resources available to nurture this talent and creativity, especially in comparison to their counterparts at predominantly white institutions. You know, Toyota is committed to creating opportunities that offer pathways to success and partnering with Harlem's Fashion Row to support the dreams of HBCU students in the field of fashion that allows us to do just that. As a brand founded on the principle of respect for people, it is Toyota's is committed to making the workplace, marketplace, society, and the world a better place, especially for the multicultural community. You know, that is why we also chose to partner with empowering platforms such as Harlem's Fashion Row and will continue to seek additional opportunities for the foreseeable future. I love that, Paige. Thank you so much. We are so grateful to have partners like Toyota and the Dream Project to help us nurture the future of fashion, especially those that are birthed from HBCUs. In particular, the launch of the HFR Drives Dreams Community Grants for Emerging HBCU Student Designers. Now, can you tell me a little bit more about that grant as well as what, what else you and Toyota have in store for today's summit? We are beyond excited to announce the continuation of the Driving Dreams Community Grant in which we, along with the Dream Project, will be awarding $2,500 grants for three emerging HBCU student designers. We will also be announcing the winners of those grants later in the program, followed by a presentation featuring the winning three designers. 
So you don't want to miss that, right? Right. Also be giving away digital gift bags all throughout today's summit. All you have to do is head to the Toyota Dream Project virtual microsite on the harlemsfashionroad.com and take the Toyota My Style, My Way quiz for your chance to win a digital gift bag with gift designs to help you drive your dreams forward. While you are there on the virtual microsite, be sure to check out our inspirational Fueling Fashion Fireside Chat videos in which the Dream Project founder, Tanisha Jackson Warner, goes one-on-one -on -one with phenomenal women who have made big names for themselves within the fashion industry. So you surely, surely don't want to miss that. They definitely don't want to miss that. And that sounds amazing, Paige. Thank you for being here with us today, along with your continued partnership. It is great knowing that there are brands out there like Toyota that are so invested into supporting the dreams of its consumers, especially its multicultural consumers. Speaking of dreams, I too, like many of you watching, had a dream to make my mark on the fashion industry. I was a fashion outsider with limited resources and connections to the right people or audience. But despite these obstacles, I knew that my dream was so much bigger than myself. And one person that supported me on that dream journey was Dream Project founder and friend, Tanisha Jackson Warner. So I would like to bring Tanisha, who is here with Toyota and the Dream Project, to share some major keys to driving your dream forward. Mm -hmm. Keys that really helped me in bringing Harlem's Fashion Row to fruition. Brandon! <laughs> I am beyond thrilled to be here today with you, our partner Toyota, and most importantly, with all of the viewers that are watching right now. If you're watching, I know, as well as Brandis, we know that you are indeed watching with a dream. And it's an honor and a pleasure to be here with my friend, uh, my longtime friend, Brandon, is to be here to support you in driving your dream forward. I mentioned that you were one of the people who supported me in taking Harlem's Fashion Row from simply an idea to fruition. I know that we have viewers who have a dream that right now is nothing more than just a creative idea. So what would you say to those viewers are the top three keys to transform those dreams and creative ideas into reality? All right, so viewers, get your notebooks out, your pencil. We're going to go quick. Pen and um, paper, pen and paper. <laughs> yes, but we are about to give you some tips to drive your dreams forward. Um, so tip number one, you must be ready to say yes to the stretch. Mm. Let me say that again. You must be ready to say yes to the stretch. And let me tell you what the definition of the stretch is. The definition of the stretch is the distance that will be required of you to actually become the best version of yourself. Now this distance, this journey, it's always outside of your comfort zone. So if you're here today and you're ready to get your nuggets and your tools and you, you know that you wanna drive your dream forward, I need to let you know that that dream is going to happen outside of the zip code of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have to stretch outside of your comfort zone to have it become a reality. Now, of course, I just can't talk at you. I feel like I got one of the best dreamers in the game uh, right here talking with me. So Brandis, I just have a quick question. Did you have to stretch in creating Harlem Fashion Row? Tanisha, I'm still stretching. <laughs> I'm stretching every single day because the more you dream, you know, you're still dreaming beyond your resources. I'm still dreaming beyond my resources. So every single day, I have to sometimes look at what's on my plate and go, that's going to require a stretch. Are you ready to stretch? 
you know, oh. and that's just, I think that is the key for any dreamer is the stretch won't stop. Mm -hmm. And can you give us an example of when you had to go outside of your comfort zone in realizing Harlem Fashion World? Yeah, there have been so many times last year at the top of the pandemic, all of our events were planned as physical events. And that means most of our revenue was tied up in physical events. So I really had to decide at that moment, like, what do we do, right? Do we cancel all of our events for the year because everyone was canceling it? I think it started by South by Southwest and then it was went on from there. Um, and then, you know, it was like, what, what do we do? How do we pivot? How do we do the events that we do and keep them really beautiful, keep them really special, but pivot them to, to virtual. And that was um, a stretch for us because we had never done that before. And I did not know what I was doing, but I had to call in a whole lot of help in the stretch. <laughs> you will need a lot of help and you have to be willing to ask for that help. Thank you, Brandis. So to all of the dreamers that are watching, you heard her say she did not know how to do it. So um, if you're waiting to be comfortable in this dream journey, I'm going to tell you, get rid of that moment. You're going to be uncomfortable as you go on your dream journey. And we want to make sure you got that key and tip number one of saying yes to the stretch. So tip number two, expect a miracle on your dream journey. I can tell you after being on this journey for 17 years of having an idea, stepping out on faith, and then starting my own company, Igami Group, Along the way, I have witnessed miracles. I met people that have changed the trajectory of my career. At the last moment in many times when I was like really praying to God and saying, God, I need resources. I need a miracle. I cannot tell you how many times he has actually shown up with a miracle. So I want you to expect miracles on your dream journey. And we can start that by raising your expectancy right now today. I want you to expect to meet your blessing here at Harlem's Fashion Row HBCU Summit today. You guys can G-chat with each other. You can network with one another. And you never know, maybe one of the speakers is someone that you need to hear from that will help you forward your dream. Let's get the expectancy up starting now expect a miracle on your dream journey. Now, Brandis, I just have to ask along the way, which I know this personally because Brandis is my friend, but Brandis, along the way, have you witnessed miracles on your dream journey as you have manifested and brought Harlem Fashion Row into what we know it as today? You know, I think back to the story of when I first met Mike Warner, who is your business partner and husband, and that was my first time coming into contact with Igami. And we were sitting down for a talk and he said to me, what do you need? And at the time, my real need was mannequins. I needed physical mannequins. I, will plan I was planning this entire event around these mannequins that I did not own and did not have the money to go rent. <laughs> and so I needed mannequins. And so I asked for them. He said, what do you need? I'm sure he was not expecting for that to come out of my mouth, but I said mannequins. And somehow you guys found somebody in New York City who had all of these mannequins that they were willing to lend to me. And we're talking days before this event, days. And so I really feel like a lot of times, right, it's the expectancy piece that you speak about. Like we have to actually say what we need and then we have to expect to receive it. And sometimes that blessing will come in the most unexpected places. I love it. And I had no idea that that is the example you were going to use. So Mike is going to be excited that you use that. And I can remember that day. It was like a decade ago. And now just look at Harlem Fashion Row. So... This last tip is very important. And that is, we want you to know that the dream is not about you. Let me say that again. The dream is not about you. So yes, you have this dream in your heart and you're excited and you feel called to do it. But the real connection to that dream is the dream is inside you, 
because it is going to serve the world. It's going to serve others. And connecting to the fact that this dream wants to come into reality, not just for you, but to help someone else. Maybe it's an answer in your community. Maybe it will serve someone else um, in a very unique way. Dreams are always tied to service and they're always tied to helping someone else. Knowing that early on in your dream journey, it will keep you connected. And in times where you may want to throw the towel in because you're just tired, you'll remember this dream is not just about me. Somebody is waiting on me for this dream. So in this particular case with Brandis, I know I've witnessed Brandis for over a decade commit her life to Harlem's Fashion Row. I know she has encountered obstacles before, but I can tell you during the times when she probably wanted to throw the towel in, she was connected that this dream was going to serve you one day. And that kept her in the game. So Brandis, I would love to hear from you. How many times have you had to remind yourself that Harlem's Fashion Row is not just for Brandis, but it's for others, like those that are watching right here today? I have to remind myself of that all the time. And one of the things I realized early on in my journey was that it wasn't even that my dream was for other people. Sometimes we're continuing somebody else's dream. And I found this book, you see it's so tattered, but Blacks in the History of Fashion. This was written by Lois Alexander Lane. She actually started the work that I'm doing with Harlem's Fashion Row years before me. As a matter of fact, she actually died the year that I started Harlem's Fashion Row. And so I knew it was destiny. Um, so, so oftentimes we think that, you know, we're starting something new. Sometimes we're just continuing somebody else's journey and paying that forward to the next generation. Oh, look, I can, you can always drop a nugget. I, I need my pen and paper when Brenda starts talking. Thank you for that. So if you're watching again, we are so thrilled, Toyota and the Dream Project, to be here to support Harlem's Fashion Row, to fuel the future of fashion. You are the future of fashion. Our intention is to drive your dream forward. You have those keys. Again, say yes to the stretch. It's going to be outside of your comfort zone. Expect a miracle. Starting today, we're going to raise our expectancy. And last but not least, be connected that your dream is here to serve the world. It's not just about you, but it's going to serve others. It's going to serve the world. It is indeed a pleasure to be here today to kick off Harlem's Fashion Row HBCU Inaugural Summit. <laughs> yes, thank you so much, Tanisha. Tanisha, you always have the gems. I love that. <laughs> so I'm just so grateful that you're here to impart your wisdom on us. I want to thank you, Paige, for your support on behalf of Toyota and making today's summit happen. And now without further ado, it is time for our first panel. So sit back, grab a pen to take some notes and enjoy.